Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we are going to learn about resistivity, conductivity, current density, drift current and diffusion current. So if you are first time to my channel, so please consider subscribing. So first is resistivity. conductivity and current density so first is uh, conductivity so conductivity so what is conductivity conductivity represents the current carrying capacity of a material or any device so generally conductivity is given by carrier concentration multiplied by charge of carrier multiplied by its mobility so this is the general equation for calculating the conductivity so conductivity of electrons is given by n q mu n and similarly the conductivity of holes is given by sigma p is equal to p q mu p so generally conductivity is represented by this term sigma so sigma n is equal to n q mu n so its units are ohm per meter mo per meter so this is mo per meter and this is also the units are mo per meter so this is conductivity so for metals which are unipolar so no holes are present so for metal sigma the total sigma is equal to n q mu n n q into mu n because only electrons exist in the case of metals so for semiconductor which is a bipolar because current connection is due to both electrons and holes in the case of semiconductor so in that case total conductivity is equal to n q mu n plus p q nu p mo per meter okay so this is the thing so next is resistivity so resistivity it is also called as specific resistance so resistivity is also called a specific resistance which is represented by this symbol and it is inverse of the conductivity so it is inverse of conductivity so its units are ohm meter or simen or siemens so this is the resistivity so resistivity is always inverse of conductivity so the important very important point here is in metals so metals possesses positive temperature positive temperature coefficient of resistance positive temperature coefficient of resistance that is as temperature increases the resistance in the case of metals increases so as resistance increases conductivity decreases conductivity decreases so in the case of metals similarly in the case of semiconductor so semiconductors possess negative temperature coefficient of resistance that is as temperature increases resistivity decreases as resistivity decreases conductivity increases so these two are very important points so in the case of semiconductors as temperature increases conductivity also increases in the case of metals as temperature increases conductivity decreases so once you know all about this so the last is current density so the name only specifies so it is represented by capital j so it is the current density so generally any density is represented by that by area so current density is total current divided by a ampere per 
meter square ampere per meter square and so ohm's law equation is given by j is equal to sigma e j is equal to sigma e. so 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 here the sigma e represents the conductivity so in the case of metal in the case of metal so j is equal to so for metal n q mu n into e its units are ampere per meter square and similarly j in the case of uh, uh, semiconductor is given by n q mu n plus p q mu p into e ampere per meter square so this is about resistivity conductivity and current density diffusion current so diffusion current what is diffusion moment of charge carriers from higher concentration area to lower concentration area until equilibrium is obtained so until equilibrium is obtained is called as diffusion so this process is called diffusion and the current which is generated due to this moment of charge carriers is called as diffusion current so this process is called diffusion and the current which is generated due to this motion of electrons or motion of charged particles is called as diffusion current so the charge concentration that is dp by dx so where x represents the length of the semiconductor and dn by dx is uh, x represents the length of semiconductor and these are concentration gradients electron concentration grade so this represents electron concentration gradient and dp by dx represents whole concentration gradient so initially dp by dx is not equal to zero and dn by dx is not equal to zero so until dp by dx or dn by dx is equal to zero there will be moment of charged particles from one place to another place so when this happens then diffusion comes to halt so diffusion stops so thereby the diffusion current also comes to end so this process where until this equilibrium is up achieved so this equilibrium is achieved so there will be moment of charge carriers and the current due to that moment of charge carriers is called as diffusion current so the formulas for diffusion current is given by jp is equal to minus q dp dp by dx jn is equal to q dn dn by dx so this is whole diffusion whole diffusion current density and this is electron diffusion current density so this is electron diffusion current density dp by dx is called as whole concentration gradient and dn by dx is called as electron concentration gradients this dp and dn are called as diffusion constants of electrons and holes respectively so this is about diffusion current so these are the formula of diffusion currents in the case of holes and electrons respectively So next we will discuss about drift current. So drift current. So what is drift? So movement of charged particles. The movement of charged particles under the application of electric field is called drift so motion movement of charged particles so these charged particles may be either electrons or 
holes so the movement of charged particles under the application of electric field is called as drift and current due to this drifting process is called as drift current so current due to this drifting process so during drift there will be movement of charged particles and when movement of charged particles takes place there will always be a current which is produced inside a semiconductor so that type of semi that type of current in a semiconductor is called as drift always electrons moves towards the positive terminal uh, of the battery and holes moves towards the negative terminal in the applied electric field so this motion will causes some current and that current is called as drift current so drift current density is given by sigma e so j drift drift current density is given by sigma e is equal to nq mu n plus pq mu p into e in the case of j so this is j drift so this is ampere per meter square so the electron if they ask you specifically so about electron drift current density so it is nq mu n into e and whole drift current or drift current density is pq mu p into e so pq mu p into e so in the case of uh, metal so in the case of metal the drift current density in the case of metal is n q mu n into e so n q into v d so v d represents the drift velocity so drift velocity is equal to mu n into e so this is another formula so j drift is equal to nq into vd so this is drift current density of electrons and holes this is the total drift current density in the case of a semiconductor and this is the total drift current density in the case of metal okay so this is about drift current so if i ask you about total current density so always the total current density inside a semiconductor the total current density inside a semiconductor is due to both drift and diffusion currents so total current density is equal to the drift current density plus diffusion current density okay so in the case of uh, uh, for electrons the drift current density nq mu n e and diffusion current density is q dn dn by dx similarly for uh, holes the total current density is n uh, sorry p q mu p into e minus q dp dp by dx okay so this is the concepts of drift and diffusion current densities in the case of semiconductor so in the next class we'll discuss about fermi level in the case of intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors so if you like the video please share and subscribe to my channel thank you